Hi, this is Mrs. Freifeld, and I'm going to give you a lesson on unit rates. A unit rate is a comparison of two measurements in which one of the terms has a val value of one. So when you set these ratios up in a proportion problem, the first one's going to contain the number one. And here's an example. A car can go for 68 miles on two gallons of gas. How many miles per gallon is the car getting? Well, I can see that what it's comparing here is miles. And that's also what I'm asking the question mark for. And then per gallon is the same as one. So here, I put the one on the bottom. And then the second ratio is from the problem and it says it gets 68 miles and two gallons. You still go from what you know to what you don't. So I know this bottom number, this side here, and I'm gonna go from two to one. The number's getting smaller, so I'm dividing. And I'm dividing by two. Whatever you do to the bottom, you do to the top. Words that equal one can be per, each, every, and a. Let's look at this problem. Miss Jackson worked out at the gym for a week. She burned a total of 2,100 calories. The next part is all asking the exact same question. How many calories did she burn a day? How many calories did she burn each day? How many calories did she burn every day? And how many calories did she burn per day? Every one of these words equal one. So here, I'm gonna just use this one here where it says each. So now I'm saying how many calories did she burn each day? Just like setting up any other proportion problem, the first thing you need to do is set up your word fraction. What is it asking you to compare? And it says how many calories did she burn in a day? So here I'm comparing calories to day. What is it that I'm looking for? Where does my question mark go? It goes with calories because it says how many calories? And the number that goes on the bottom is one in each day. Now I'm gonna go back up to my problem and figure out what's the original ratio? And I see that you have a total of 2,100 calories, and she did that in a week. Well, this is on my day row, so how many days is that? Well, there's seven days in a week, so I'm gonna put seven here. Now I'm gonna go from what I know to what I don't. I know the ratio on this side, so I'm gonna go from here to here. The number got smaller, so I'm gonna divide. 7 divided by 7 is 1. If I do it to the bottom, I'm going to do it to the top. And so now I'm going to solve this problem by going 2,100 divided by 7. I can't get any groups of 7 out of 2, so I put a 0 there. I can get 3 groups of 7 out of 21, but I'm not done. Remember, if there's four numbers in my quotient, in my dividend, I need four, number, um, four numbers in my quotient. So I'm going to bring down a zero. I can't get any groups of seven out of zero. And I'm going to bring down my last zero. And every time I bring a number down, there has to be a number above it in the answer or the quotient. I can't any, get any groups of seven out of zero. And now I'm done. The correct answer to this is... 300 calories. Okay, let's try this again. A town in East Texas received 28 inches of rain in two weeks. On average, how much did rain did it get in a day? Or how much rain did it get per day? Or every day? Or each day? Every one of these words means one. So we're trying to find the unit, the unit of rain that it's getting per day. We're just gonna choose one. I think I'm gonna choose per this time. Okay, there's the question. It says a town in East Texas received 28 inches of rain in two weeks. On average, how much rain did it get per day? I'm gonna set up my word fraction. What am I comparing? 
and I see that I'm comparing rain to days. Now, where does my question mark go? Well, it goes with rain because it says how much rain did it get? And for day, I see it has per in front of it and that means one. Now, I can't solve it unless they've given me a ratio to begin with. So I'm gonna go up to the problem and find out how much rain did it get? And I see it got 28 inches in two weeks. Notice that this says day. My problem says days. So I gotta figure out how many days are in two weeks. That's 24. No, it's not, it's 14. Let's try that again. Okay, now I'm gonna go from what I know to what I don't. I know the second ratio, so I'm gonna go from here to here. The number's getting smaller, so I'm gonna divide it. And 14 divided by 14 equals one. So now I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna go 28 divided by 14. I can't get any groups of 14 out of two. So above the two, I write a zero. Zero times 14 is zero. I have two left over, down comes my eight. I can get two groups of 14 out of 28. Two times 14 is 28. And I have nothing left over. So how much rain did it get in one day? The answer is two inches of rain. Here's a great way to use unit rates. You can determine what is the best buy by finding the unit rate of items and then comparing them. Let's say you have three stores. You know that Target sells five cans of green beans for $3.40. HEB sells 10 cans of green beans for $6.20. And Walmart sells three cans of green beans for $1.83. Well, this is how you would handle that. You would go ahead and set up a proportion for each one of these stores. So let's take the, the first one in Target. I know that I'm comparing cans of green beans to money. The question mark goes next to how much money. So it's how much money in one can of green beans. And then I set it up with the ratio that was given to me, which is five cans of green beans for $2.90. Now that it's set up, I'm gonna go from what I know to what I don't. And I see that it gets smaller. I'm gonna divide by five. Whatever I do to the top, I do to the bottom. And then you go ahead and you solve it. $2.90 divided by five is 58 cents. I know that in Target, I can get one can of beans for 58 cents. Let's try it for HEB. Set up your word fraction. Put the question mark next to the money and the one next to how much for one can of green beans. Your next ratio is straight from the problem. You can get 10 cans for $6.20. Now that you've set it up, you go from what you know to what you don't. It's getting smaller, so I'm gonna divide by 10. Whatever you do to the top, you do to the bottom. And $6.20 divided by 10 is 62 cents per can. And now I'm gonna do it for the last one for Walmart. Word fraction. The first ratio with the question mark, what I'm trying to find out. Here I go back and I say that I know it sells three cans for $1.83. I'm gonna go from what I know to what I don't, and in this case, it gets smaller, so I'm gonna divide by three. Whatever I do to the top, I do to the bottom, and $1.83 divided by three is 61 cents. I can see that Target has the better buy. You did a good job.